Hi Aries, I'm Juanita and we're going to look at uh, what's going on for you over the next two weeks and we're going to use the Sacred Forest Oracle and we're going to use the Osho Zen Tarot. I was thinking of using another deck but honestly me and the Osho Zen, we, I don't know, we just got something going on. We really, I really connect with these cards and they really, really speak to me and I feel like it, it just flows. So, yeah, part of me was a bit like, oh, maybe it's going to get boring. But, you know, hey, I mean, so long as the information's coming in for you guys, that, that's the main thing to me, you know, because I really like to make sure that you know, trying to help you guys through this time and anyone else who sees these videos. So, you know, this is the most important thing to me, which is why I'm doing this. So, and putting my time into this. So, yeah, so I'm like, well, you know, I need to just not worry about that and just give you guys the messages. Oh, I can see something in my, oh, that's kind of weird. Something's going on. Anyhow, okay, so let's have a look at the first card here. Water Spirit manifesting dreams i feel as though aries you need to um because i'm looking at this otter here right and he looks a little bit concerned to me and if we are talking about manifesting dreams water spirit like this is like emotions right like kind of uh, allowing you, okay, I, I see, I see, I see. Let me try and get this so I can explain it properly. It's like Aries, you have, you're trying to manifest something, right? And you, it, it, in this manifestation, it's really important to feel what it's like to have whatever it is you're trying to manifest. You, you know, it's not just about thinking and about it enough. It's feeling it because what happens is the universe responds to our vibration so it's the vibration that we are putting out that frequency that we're putting out that is important okay because that's what the universe will match so if we're putting out um this frequency and then we're kind of going oh but will it happen or is this really what i want or you know there's some kind of doubt or hesitation or um resistance the universe then gets mixed signals. So this is where it's really important to um, actually be incredibly aware of what it is that you're putting out there. Um, and I feel like um, with this, because I'm seeing the water here, how it's all sparkly and, and, and very pretty. Um, and there's a bit of a current there. So feel like there's something inside of you that could be swimming against the current okay and we've had control jump out it could be that you're trying to control how it unfolds okay you might be trying to I'm not really seeing this control as how I would normally see it what I'm seeing here Aries is control in the sense of you're trying to work out the how and make it happen with the how rather than just surrendering and and letting the how is it going to happen go and i know that that's easier said than done but it is necessary when you come to manifesting okay so nothingness and this is how you do it you go into the nothingness you go into the abyss you let go of everything. You let go of things like no thingness. No thingness. You see that there? You're not holding on to anything. There is no thing that you're holding on to. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like this grip on control. Because I'm just being drawn to how his hands are here like this. And, and it's like having this grip on things, trying to um, hold on to something that maybe it's time to let go, Aries. 
um, maybe in manifesting your dreams means that there's something you need to let go of, potentially. Um, and I want to say about that, that other, you know, is that, um, which is exactly what I'm leading into here, sorry, everything comes at once sometimes. So, let me just slow down a little. Um, I just need this, um, these messages are coming through really, really quickly and I need them to slow down so I can actually grasp what's going on here. So just give me a minute. So we've got the water flowing down the stream. Okay, and it may feel like it could be flowing reasonably fast and it, it might scare you that things are going to get out of your control so you're trying to hold on okay um the other thing i'm feeling with that is that there's a sense of keeping everything in check emotionally okay so it might be a matter of needing to actually release some feelings um that aren't serving you that may be giving out this vibration which is not helping you to manifest what it is you want Okay, so I've spent a long enough on one card, or three cards. Um, Starry Night Acceptance. I really like this. this I, the, there's a sense of hope here um, in this person's face. Um, and... I feel like... This is accepting what is going on on you, going on, 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 going on in your life, Aries. I have to say that starting this reading, I do feel a little bit out of sorts, and I think it's your energy. I don't think it's from me. I feel like it's your energy, and I feel as though there's, um, you know, sometimes in manifesting something, things have to fall apart before things come together, and that could very well be what's going on for you Aries so it could be accepting that whatever is going on in your life however things are accepting that that is how it is and um and and I suppose kind of like um appreciating that as well okay um yeah I feel as though there's something going on that you can't change and it's hard for you to accept. But part of that is, is, is this. Is that what you've manifested? No, I don't think it is. Maybe this change that is going on for you, Aries, is giving you the opportunity to look at how you can manifest and create your own. Picture. No, that's not right. Your own world, I guess. No, I'm not. There's just something there. I don't know. I feel like there needs to be some sort of letting go of something. Maybe um, forgiving. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving other people around you. Something's Something has happened, Aries. <sighs> I do feel a little bit broken hearted. Patience. Uh, there's something you need to be nurturing yourself here. You need to be giving yourself some tender love and care. There's a cycle. There's a cycle that's happening. And you know what? Maybe it's this manifesting cycle, right? Everything comes in cycles. So does manifestation. So there's you're somewhere along the cycle of manifesting because this has come out first. So this is kind of like what I feel like the basis of this is, okay, so mm, very interesting, because I just feel like this um, patience card here, and the silence card here, is the same person, but zoomed in on the face, so really, really coming into the silence, okay, the no thingness, so going into this space areas of um, um, looking at, okay, so you're looking at your device, on which you're watching this reading now, okay, and you are this being watching the reading, and your device is here in front of you, no doubt, there's a space in between of no thingness, of silence, of stillness, 
and this is the space to enter in order to calm everything down for you Aries okay um, in order to get to a place of acceptance where you are mutual I feel like there's a need for you to be in a mutual state of being in order for you ah, so this is the process that you need to follow to manifest your dreams you need to get into this mutual space so that you can propel forward with manifestation there it is okay elves playfulness this is this inner child Aries you know often I'll talk about the inner child as needs healing and needs attention and all that kind of thing which is not incorrect but there's another side to the inner child and that is playfulness bringing the joy in remembering when you were a child and how you used to have fun and what you used to do and how it was just all carefree you know I know when we were a child we made mud pies all we needed was an empty container and everything else came from the earth you know and we prettied it up with flowers and did whatever it took to make this beautiful mud pie <laughs> you know and we had so much fun it we did that for hours you know so these sorts of things, you know, probably a really good way of grounding too. Go out and make a mud pie. Just don't eat it, okay? Um, so yeah, so bring, really bringing out this playfulness inside of you to lighten things up because there is this sense of heaviness about you right now, Aries, um, that just needs to, you know, and, and this will also help to um, get this vibration so that you are, you know, sending out this positive, excited vibration. Okay, um, yeah, I really love that for you. That's such a cool card. Did I even show that to you for very long? I don't even know if I did. Sorry. I get so excited, I just put it up in flash and it's gone again before you actually really get to see. Again, see this one here is standing with the, her arms behind her back. Almost like gives me this sense of surrendering. And surrendering, surrendering to that inner child to let it come out. Surrendering to um, whatever is going to happen, right? Um, and this is also one way to nurture yourself by bringing this playfulness out in you. You know, by allowing yourself to actually have fun. You know, because, um, yeah, I feel like not enough of that is being done. Okay, so yeah that's so cool okay moment to moment trusting trusting we've also got innocence here i feel as though um, some of you are trying to potentially juggle something um, and maybe you might feel like things are a little bit out of balance, okay? Uh, this could actually be your emotions. You may feel like your emotions are, are slightly out of balance, okay? Um, I don't feel like there's... How is this pertaining to playfulness? Maybe this is why you need playfulness. I don't really feel like... Oh, yeah, and the innocence. Yeah, see, this is about this innocence that you had within you as a child. You know, just m making things up as you go type of thing. One step at a time. Aries, one step at a time is what you need to take, okay? And have fun with it. Enjoy it. Be playful with it. See it as an adventure rather than something like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? See it as an adventure. Okay? What's my next step going to bring me? What am I going to learn from this? Yeah? Hummingbird. Hummingbird spirit. <laughs> Joy. Um, th there's something you need to clear around you. Okay, you might need to even clear your space, okay? Because the hummingbird flaps its wings really, 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 really super fast. I don't even know how fast per second, but really fast. 
right? And, and it's like clearing this energy around you. So I feel like that needs to be done, whether it's around you or your space at home, okay, or even in the workplace, okay? So that is something that needs to be done there. Um, and it's also tasting this flower here. So I feel as though for you, um, finding the joy in every little thing in your life, right? Um, and, you know, just allowing whatever changes are happening to take place, okay, and really looking, like I said before, looking for the joy in those changes, okay, rather than seeing it as a really um, bad thing or something that, oh, you know, you don't really want this to happen, yeah, look at this, something has happened, um, Aries, for some of you that you, was potentially unexpected, um, but Thunderbolt was not always, always about something unexpected, sometimes it's you know, you've made changes in your life which may have caused this. Um, but it is about this, um, you know, like in a storm, how after a storm you can go outside and the air feels really, really fresh. Um, I feel as though it, there's just this cleansing that needs to happen in your life right now. And this cleansing could also be people around you. Um, we've got celebration here. Uh, and see, this is them, jump it, look at this, okay, yes, Aries, this is going outside and jumping in the puddles when it's raining, right, people could sit inside and be like, oh, how boring, I can't go outside, these three women have gone out and gone, let's have fun in the puddles, no gumboots, no jackets, right, um, so, Looking at how it is that you can turn a bad situation into something good or at least something that you can find joy in, in that particular moment, okay? Spirit Guardian of Summer Expansion. This is going to help you expand in every area of your life, okay? Uh, this is going to, like, this card is, is like, if you look at this apple tree, right, this is abundance and success, you know, and something that takes a time to nurture and grow. It doesn't just grow overnight and produce fruit, you know, it, 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 it takes a long time and it takes nurturing to have this happen. So this is understanding this about yourself or whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. It does take time doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't fall in your lap you do need to take action okay you need to take proactive action to make this happen okay Aries um yeah so I think understanding that um looking at it what it is that you want to manifest and seeing how it is that you can um what action you can take um to make that happen okay and trying different things out, having fun with it, because the first thing you try may not exactly go in the direction that you want it to. Um, but every time that happens, you go back into this no thingness and you begin again. Okay, okay, you begin again. You begin again, and you practice patience because being impatient is going to break this vibration. It's going to interrupt the manifesting cycle. Because the vibration that you're putting out is like this. Whatever you think, Aries, creates a vibration outside of you. And if you're doing some stinking thinking, it's going to pollute the vibration around you. Okay, and then the foundation isn't going to be solid and strong. Okay, so this is very, very important. Travelling. I feel like what it is that you're heading towards, Erie, feels really far away. And I feel as though some of you may be a little bit worn out in the process. And maybe this is where this nurturing comes in. Okay. Um, and, but with this being, uh, with this card here, you... It, 
because, okay, let me just explain what I'm getting here, because I see this sun here, this light, and there's a person right down here, I hope you can see that down there, and it looks like a really long way, and they're heading towards the sun, right? But it could very well be that the destination that they're headed, headed to is actually just behind the clouds here, and they're not as far as what they think they are. They just don't realize that, 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 you know, that it's actually that close and they're almost there. Does that make sense? Um, guardians of the land, protection. This is nice. This is really nice. <sighs> oh, Aries. I don't, I don't, I don't really feel that some of you believe that you deserve what it is you're trying to manifest, to be honest with you. I feel like some of you feel like you're not quite enough. And it's like you really, really want it, but this, this could be, what could be stopping this manifestation is your own beliefs within yourself. You keep yourself in the shadows, you keep yourself, you hold yourself back. And you are absolutely more than enough. You are absolutely deserving of, of this. You know, you, yeah, I don't, I, and with this being protection, you are protected. This is the thing. And I would actually... Have, um, practice the protection um, protect yourself like imagine a shield of protection around you okay on a regular basis all right um, this could be what this vibration is wow this is cool so we have exhaustion here because it's like you've been trying and trying and trying for the longest time to get to, okay, let's just use this scenario. You've been trying to build this robot here and this is you here and you're absolutely exhausted. And the thing is, Aries, you've, you've got all the, all the pieces that you need. It's just, you're so exhausted that um, you just, you can't see clearly what needs to be put where. And you keep trying to do it, but because you're so invested, um, you haven't taken the time to step back. You haven't taken the time to clear this, this space around you um, in order to see clearly what needs to go where. Okay, you haven't, Aries, stepped into the nothingness and practiced patience. And gone into the silence to allow the master to step forth. And the master is you. You've exhausted yourself with your own mind. Yeah. Dragon. Power. Oh, I love this. Wow, man, this is cool. Okay, you got to have a squiz at that. Have a good look at that. That's so cool, huh? Yeah. This is really stepping into your power, Aries. Speak your truth. Reclaim your authority, right? Manifest your dreams. This is what this is all about. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Also, she's taking a rest here. Maybe you need a rest. You need to just step back. You know, this is going to allow you to step forth. And also, just a minute, just clicked. This light here is this light here. It's right there. It is right there. You just need to have a little rest so you can see it clearly. So that all this way is cleared for you. And you can actually see this clearly. Okay. Okay. And, you know, this is really important for you to express your strength with grace and power. You know, to really, really um, let that come forth. Okay? To step into this masterfulness that is within you. 
Oh, I was about to get the other card and we haven't even looked further into this. My gosh, look at the time here. Wow. Okay, Aries, sorry. Awareness. Awareness of what's inside of you, that this master is inside of you to allow this to come forth. To really, really, really speak your truth and stand in your truth. You know, really living from that heart space. Dropping all your thoughts from your mind into your heart and bringing that through. I swear I say that all the time. I don't even know if it's you, Aries, that I say it to because I never really remember the readings afterwards. I even have trouble like making up a, a title for it because I'm like, what even happened in that reading? <laughs> totally, it's not me at all. It's not from me at all. Um, yeah, maturity. This is something that's going to take time to grow or it's been taken time to grow right and you're exhausted but it is really the case that for some of you this could be the beginning for some of you this could be towards the end you know maybe everything's fallen apart maybe this is the opportunity for a new beginning for you gratitude blue bell fairy Ooh, i love this see this here this is like this vibration right rising up getting risen up from the vibration she is getting risen up by this vibration here yeah and um and so this is about finding things to be grateful for even if things aren't exactly as you want them right now even if you're facing challenges in your life right this is going to help you to expand and raise your vibration aries okay you know the universe is grateful for you the universe needs you just as much as you need the universe to support you and protect you. Okay, so, yeah, letting these emotions flow out so that whatever, whatever, okay, just let me make this clear because we've had protection come up. So this is about healthy protection and unhealthy protection. Protection that is going to help you propel forward. And protection that is holding you back okay this is holding you back this icicle that you have put around you from not allowing your tears to flow from not allowing your emotions to be expressed okay this has placed this icicle around you which no longer allows you to propel forward this kind of protection on the other hand Aries is the kind of protection you want to surround yourself with not this okay Aries um, this is going to help you to step into this creator of who you are. Man, you have some really awesome cards here. And these, some of these cards, and I will just show you the ones that I feel, are these cards. These cards here, this is no thing, this hiding behind here, right? This one, the master. We've got maturity. But these are new beginnings. These are new beginnings. We've got even the Innocence card here, right? Like, truly, truly, I always end up making a mess of all the cards at the end. Um, truly, Aries, like, this is something that you can grow for yourself, okay? Um, and now we have Rainbow Waterfall. Mm, miracles. This is your card. This is your card, Aries. We started with manifesting dream and we end with miracles. Wow, wow, wow. Like, come on. This is pretty cool, right? You know, this is it, right? You know how you have the storm? We are talking about the storm earlier. The thunderbolt, wherever it is here. This is what happens after this has passed. The rainbow comes out. And look at these butterflies sitting here that have transformed, right? They've been through their own massive transformation and they are admiring the rainbow. Okay, after letting the water fall, the rainbow appears, Aries, and miracles take place. They, you know, because the way is clear for the miracles to happen. Yeah? So let go of all your self-doubt right open yourself up to receive because at the moment it seems like some of you yeah look abundance this is what you can create Aries so just comp 
compose myself. Because I'm excited for you. I'm excited. They're lovers. Abundance and the lovers. Hoppa, hoppa. This is Aries, something that is absolutely there in the waiting for you. It's in the vortex. It's already there, Aries. You just have to get your vibration into a um, state that it matches it. Okay? Because it's not really about attracting it. It's about bringing it together. So vibrate at this rate that you, you know, whatever it is you're trying to man manifest, get into that vibration and hold that vibration. No doubt. No resistance, no fear. Belief in yourself that you deserve it because you are enough. And you are more than enough. Unconditionally, you are enough. That's it. End of story. Okay, Aries, I'm going to leave that with you. I hope that helped you. This is a way over the next two weeks, work on your vibration. Okay, that's really the underlying thing. Work on that vibration every day over and over every time you feel yourself stepping out of that high vibe place just don't beat yourself up over it don't tell yourself oh you're bad you can't do this just step back into it practice 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 patience it's a cycle okay you've been in this other cycle for so long you just need to practice a new one and have patience with yourself like you would with anyone else okay Aries take care of yourselves and happy high-fiving. See ya. Bye.